More than 800 of these highly radioactive capsules have been relocated. The process started in February, and workers completed the job ahead of schedule by six months. They are being transferred from pool cell to pool cell as part of safe and compliant operations at the waste encapsulation storage facility. The capsules glow due to the high levels of gamma radiation they contain. They aren't going far, but the moves do make a difference. Moving is important because it helps redistribute high levels of heat generated by the radioactive contents of the capsules. Paul Guerrillo, operations manager at the facility, says moving these capsules is a challenge due to the nature of the material. He says a lot of planning and practicing takes place before the work gets started in order to execute the job safely. Developed a plan and continually improved upon the plan as we went through it. We found better ways, more efficient ways to move the capsules. Workers were able to reduce the total number of moves required, which reduces capsule handling and worker risk. Also, thanks to new engineered reach tools, the job could be done more efficiently. Monica Kimball, director of Liquids Waste and Fuel Storage, says it takes an experienced team. Wesf capsule relocation activity was a perfect example of teamwork. Our operations worked very closely with engineering to develop efficiencies, incorporating them to our operating procedure. Um, our millwrights provided outstanding support on fabrication and repair of our long link tools. And our RADCON organization teamed with operations to find controls that allowed operations to continue efficiently while providing radiological safety. And this team did it six months ahead of schedule and without an injury or an incident. The capsules contain radioactive isotopes called cesium and strontium, byproducts of plutonium production. In 1972, the two byproducts were removed from high-level waste tanks at Hanford to reduce the temperature of the waste inside the tanks. Today, CH2M Hill manages the waste encapsulation storage facility that stores the capsules until they can be safely removed for dry storage and final disposition. Almost 2,000 capsules containing cesium or strontium are stored at the facility. They sit beneath 13 feet of water to shield workers from radiation and keep capsules cool.